I thought I would just read four or five uh, new poems from a work in progress. Uh, this is called Wheeling Motel. Take the event, uh, supposed event of this poem takes place on the banks of another, uh, another river far from here between West Virginia and Ohio. Wheeling Motel. The vast waters flow past its backyard. You can purchase a six-pack in bars, Tammy Wynette's on the marquee, a block down. It's 25 years ago. You went to death, I to life, and which was luckier, God only knows. There's this line in an unpublished poem of yours. The river is like that, a blind familiar. The wind will die down when I say so. The leaden and lessening light on the current. Then the moon will rise, like the word reconciliation, like Walt Whitman examining the tear on a dead face. This is called Will. I don't want to see a doctor. I want to kill a doctor. <laughs> and this is my alone song. It isn't long. Everything is fine. Everything is good. Everything is happening precisely as it should. I have made all the money it takes to be poor here. From always the gift of impermanence, so I would be ready, accompanied by a rage to prove them wrong prove they picked the wrong child to torment, and that I too was worthy of love. Agony of death, agony of birth unreal, the everyday world and nirvana unreal. The disappearance of sentience from this close to non-existent moat will have upon the cosmos, needless to say, no discernible effect. There's another page now. Desire and the body born of desire, fame and shame, unreal, but this. One extremely broken and alone heart's wish to help all hearts. This was real. This is indestructible. I'm going now to the mansion long prepared for me, the eye socket of a dead crow. The sapphire wind on water halls of hawk-visited shadowy pines like Chinese characters in an ancient poem not yet written, and of childhood the snows. <clears throat> Thank you. Day one. Good morning, class. Today we're going to be discussing the deplorable adventures of Franz Wright and his gory flute. Just kidding. The topic this morning is an unparaphrasable logic constructed from parallelisms and images and held together on occasion by nothing but the magical non sequitur. But the hell with that. We should really examine your life, the one you bought, and what happened when you got home and attempted to assemble it. That disfiguring explosion no one witnessed, no one heard, which you yourself cannot recall, and by whose unimaginable light you seek to write the name of beauty. This is, a, this is about a, a poet that I uh, love very much. See if you can guess who it is. When I have inspired universal horror, I shall have conquered solitude, he wrote in his journal, in his rented misery. Interesting strategy. The person who wrote this was an ill and wrathful man, one who constantly strove to do better, a composer of a couple sad dope sickness remedies, Icelandic moss, and the firm resolution to pray every morning to God, his mother, and Edgar Allan Poe, who made the splendid mind to self this note. Whenever you receive a letter from a creditor, Immediately write 50 lines upon another worldly subject and you will be saved, if not from the step fool. His throne, a wheelchair in an empty park, the satanic baby, enfant du mal, and mom, the true power behind it, right to the end. Evil isn't hard to comprehend. 
It is nothing but unhappiness in its most successful disguise. Evil is hated and feared at least. It is possessed, unlike mere misery, of a dark glamour nobody pities. And uh, it's the last one I'll read. Out of Delusion. In blue branches, the moon fainting coma all morning, always fading and drifting away. A book one wrote decades ago now seems stranger than somebody else's. Of the slumbering hand, this change, ineluctable cloud life. I speak in the mask of the first person, not as myself, not in the glory of action, of experience when time and dying stop, but as anyone in the in-between hours, the hours alone or traveling or waking in a strange room, or the moments when friends all fall silent and each gazes into his own past and his own end, this is what I meant, the way things look then, music, Silence, the word. I'd emulate these little candles just lit for the newly dead, enter the endless, the original words which shine from behind in true words and be through with them, through with all words. <clears throat> so desperately tired of the long, long flight from God. One hourglass of eventual cremation dust thinking, get me out of here. Riding the subway, I glimpse myself in the seat next to mine in the adjacent universe, one Uranus drooling but otherwise fine human hamster attempting and repeatedly failing to pour cough syrup into a spoon, thinking the sky is a river of souls, as everyone knows, darkness and blizzards come from the future and the road is long as the memory of a child, thinking I could not bear to know what I do, no one knows no one like I do. Sparrow at the gates of heaven, or maggot at the gates of heaven, there I am with all the others from the 20th century of horror. And that is a beginning. Thank you.